It's time to end the culture of tolerating crime at Metro Transit. Republican lawmakers sharing stories of constituents they say are afraid to ride on the light rail and afraid to come downtown. We've heard firsthand from constituents with concerns about visiting just a Twins game. In response, the lawmakers are proposing a package of bills including changes to the light rail. They would not decriminalize riders who don't pay, like the Democrat-led bill announced earlier this month. Instead, they would add transit enforcement agents who can give citations and enforce a new rider code of conduct, which would allow for rule breakers to be banned. The issue of security and rider safety at Metro Transit has been neglected for too long and now has caused Metro Transit to be among the least safe transit systems in the country. The GOP lawmakers presented four other crime-related bills, with one claim raising protest from Minneapolis Mayor Jacob uh, Fry. There were several bits of misinformation that were spread in this press conference. After the press conference, Fry confronted Representative Matt Grossel, telling him the GOP claim that Minneapolis is not adding more police is not true. The people deserve to hear the truth. You stop the lying. people deserve to hear the you truth. So, so next time, do that for me. Don't touch me. You stop lying. Fry says Minneapolis is adding an extra police recruiting class this year, spending $2.7 million. Lou Raguse, CARE 11 News. The other GOP crime bills include boosting penalties for gang members, more money for state investigators fighting gangs and drug trafficking, and preventing cities from disarming officers.